Good morning, John. Less than a year ago, I was in Haiti, learning about the people there and their problems and their dreams and their hopes and their frustrations. I was there with water.org because they wanted to share their work with me so that I could share it to the rest of the world through my eyes, or at least through my camera. What I found in Haiti was astounding to me. Not that these people are living in basically what we consider uh, the hygiene of the Middle Ages, but that they are in, you know, the important ways exactly like me and my friends and my family. They care about each other, they like to eat sweet things, they like to dance and have fun and laugh. They have very strong and complicated communities, and they want a better life for themselves and for their children. I spent some time there in a village called Savantabak, where the citizens of that village had asked one of Water.org's partner organizations to come in and help them build a well. Their water source at the time was about a 20 minute walk away from the village, and it was a muddy hole in the ground, really. So when I came back, I told you all about these people, and I asked you to donate money to water.org. We all worked together, and we gave those people something that they needed. Now, Boats, and Gluluno, and Olna, and Jean-Baptiste, and Isaid, and Jenna, they now have a well. Thanks to Nerdfighteria and Water.org, those people have more than just a well. They have a community-owned asset that people pay a fair price to use, and that money goes into maintaining that asset. So that 20, 30, 50 years from now, those people still have a source of clean water. They've built something that the community's invested in, has control over, and cooperatively maintains. And now because of this resource, they have more time to grow their economy, to educate themselves and their children, because they can spend less time going to get water and less time being sick. When I was there, Jenna, one of the youngest members of the well committee, spoke out and said that there just has to be a better way. She was just frustrated. And now she has that better way. She also remembered me, which was nice. And she was asking where I was, which is sad. Please consider donating to water.org. They do it well and they do it right. And of course, go to projectforawesome.com and vote for water.org so that they can get a piece of the Project for Awesome fund. Thank you to everyone who gave from the depth of my heart. This was just like one of the most amazing and just touching and inspiring things that I've ever been a part of. So thank you all so much for that. John, I'll see you on the live stream. Oh, hey. Uh, end screen. Um, th there's a video. Uh, if you click here, you can watch it that explains what the Project for Awesome is, how it works, and how you can participate.